Yeah, so it's it's the 1980s and we're in County, California. Saturdays, my dad would take me to this baseball field. All these guys my dad played with were our family friends. I just found out that 80% of these folks were pot dealers or pot smugglers or drug smugglers or growers. <laughs> they all worked in the pot industry in the 70s and 80s, which was a big deal. You know, it was illegal. And so was my dad. What? <laughs> God, yeah, what? Mm, I'm gonna, yeah. Just a hot producer tip. When you blow your nose... Put some space between the storytelling and the nose blowing, so I can <laughs> cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Hello, I'm Rainbow Valentine, and for the past year, my dad has been coming clean to me about his decades-long career as a big-time pot smuggler. And by big time, I mean pretty big time. I think it was sixty thousand pounds. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> my dad and mom had to live a double life. One is active school board members, doting parents to three kids, and the other is outlaws. Like, my parents had a secret room. Like in the movies. It was, like, yeah. I mean, it was a real secret room where you he You took had... out a book and you took out a screwdriver. Now, my dad wasn't the most organized criminal. He once lost half a million dollars buried in the backyard. It was pretty stressful. <laughs> <laughs> that I couldn't find at least a half a million in cash. He also literally had to launder money. He once put more than $100,000 in our dryer. I can't just dump it in the dryer, so I put them in socks. My dad was tremendously successful, and he smuggled during the war on drugs, a war that made people like my dad and his smuggling colleagues public enemy number one. Public enemy number one is drug abuse. Marijuana, the burning weed with its roots in hell. and their smuggling associates are finally breaking their silence about growing up during the psychedelic revolution in the 60s and entering into the life of outlaws in a world that had nothing but contempt for them. Together, we're going to find out how my dad was a pot smuggler for 22 years and at what cost. I'm Rainbow Valentine. For My Heart Media and School of Humans, this is Disorganized Crime, Smuggler's Daughter. Listen to Disorganized Crime Smuggler's Daughter on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Coming December 4th.